Now, I've only been working off of the dot read command uh, as far, but there's plenty of different options that we can work off of as well. So as you can see, sort of, I have been using just this one right here, there it is, uh, this one right here of dot read with nothing inside of it. That just says to Python, read everything. But I could have actually been reducing that down. I could say only read, say for example, the first uh, five characters of my hello as well file. And when I run through that, you see I only see uh, hello this time. I only see the first five characters. But uh, specifically, what happens if I'm dealing with uh, multiple files or multiple lines in a single file? The reason why that might be a problem is, let's see what happens if I say, for example, uh, I've created another file. So this is the file that you're going to be working off of in uh, your in-class lab, this idea of readings.txt. Inside there, it's got just a ton of thermostat data, right? This is a thermostat readings uh, showing the temperatures of the thermostat at different time intervals. Well, it's a lot of data, and maybe I want to do some analysis or processing uh, through that. So if I go in and through Spider, if I make my reference and I say, well, let me open up my readings and you know, I don't care about the, the five characters thing, I try and read this, I see everything, right? And maybe I don't want to see everything uh, at once for whatever reason, you know, that's just too much. One of the things I can do is I can come in and say, read lines. So again, the idea behind read lines is read lines is going to create all a giant list of every single file that I'm I or a, a list of every line inside that file. So in that case, I can come in and where are you? There you are. So read lines. Now if I do the same thing, I just I've changed it to from read to read lines. It looks like this. Okay. Well, the big thing about this right now is it's a list of strings and there's the point of it being a list and what i can do with that say for example is for line in contents print line now it doesn't do much from the start right but if i come in and i run this now every single line is getting read in processed and then printed out again why would I want to do this? Well, let's say, for example, again, I want to see uh, the temperature data going on there, right? Uh, and so maybe I only want to see that. I don't really care about uh, the thermostat. It's the same number. Uh, this is going to be the same number. Maybe the times change, but we're not doing anything with that. And that's literally just telling you what the, the current uh, set point on that thermostat is. But I want to see, you know, you know what kind of uh, temperatures this is getting. I can see 92, uh, and yes, it was, uh, for this thermostat, it was inside of a fast food kitchen. So, yeah. Uh, but what can we do with this? All right, well, now I've, I, instead of printing the line, right, I have a few options. We've been talking about strings, how they're objects, and they have this ability uh, known as split. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll call it uh, reading equals line dot split. And just to show that for a second, reading. Again, I always like to do a print uh, while I'm kind of working through things because it, it helps keep me uh, aware of just what my data is doing at that particular time. Again, so if I run this, oh, all right, well, my list is starting to look a little cleaner uh, suddenly. You can see uh, each individual line is now just being printed out as a list. One. Uh, element is the zone, the thermostat, the timestamp, the temperature, and the set point. And zero, one, two, three. Maybe if I instead reference only the third element, uh, or sorry, the uh, element at the three index. Oh, okay, now I see temperatures. And so I can uh, sort of work uh, through this. I can also uh, do a few different approaches, like instead of uh, going through read lines, I could do a single read line, uh, and that's just going to read one line at a time. Um, I typically like to do the whole just read everything in to start. 